What's going on, y'all? What's going on? This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. My name is the Reader, the Mean All. Here once again for those of y'all that are new, and welcome to the Mean All channel. Where I appreciate y'all and thank y'all so much for tuning in. And let's see what is coming in for Libra right now. So we got Detox Chef Friendships, Libra. Now I'm a fellow Libra myself, so make sure y'all leave y'all birthday in the comments. I'm ten fourteen. If nobody feel that, Libra, I feel that. Your abundance flow is being affected by the people whom you're spending time with. So be discerning about your associates and your relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, generous, and supportive. And we got clearing depths. So we have your self-care involves removing any heavy burdens of financial or emotional depths from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just from facing this topic. Make a plan to clear any present obligations and avoid future ones as well. And then we also have organized for success. So we have don't let the word organized intimidate you. And this is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, or your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next actions. And... We got positivity, faith, and optimism. A little bit of Leo energy here. So somebody could be dealing with a Leo. So we have your, you open your doorways to a positive experience, opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep up the faith and keep going. So that's going to be very important for a lot of y'all as well. Let's see what else is coming in for Libra right now. So we got gratitude list. So we got counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have. Helps you be centered in your heart instead of fit state on worries in your mind. What and who you are grateful for. Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover amazing generosity of the universe. And we also have declutter. So we have you feel better and more focused if you take out the time to clutter uh, from your living space and your workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items and be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. And we also have it's safe for you to receive. So the more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be conduct for a good coming to you through the basis of the world. And we also have words of abundance. So we have, you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful and positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. That is what you attract for yourself and others. At the bottom of the deck, we got obstacles and blocks are lifted. So we got all your good personal work and your positive energy have shipped any overcome previous obstacles, blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement in your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your abundance flow continues. So for a lot of my Libras, you know, somebody just told me earlier. It's so funny. Before I recorded this video, you know, I told somebody, you know, I'm on a spiritual journey. I'm also on a journey to, you know, change what I'm, you know, just to change what I'm putting out there and, you know, just trying to build my platforms and stuff. And somebody told me that you already doing it, speaking into existence. And, you know, us Libras, sometimes we have a problem with being overly critical when it comes to ourselves. And we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. So I catch myself doing that all the time. We got the sun. So this is for us Libras. There is a new beginning in route of us. There is a fresh start in route of us. And we got the emperor in reverse. Some of y'all are dealing with an Aries, a masculine Aries. This Aries is not for you. Some of you have a history with an Aries. And we got the mage. They could have did some spiritual work or some spell work on you to, you know, try to stop your abundance flow or try to, to try to stop your prosperity. So be careful if you're dealing with an Aries. We got happiness. This is to block your happiness. Somebody got a nine-year-old. This is to stop you from being happy. This is to stop you from moving forward without them. And we got the Empress. So let's see what else is coming in right now. We got the Empress. And we also have the Day Trader in reverse. So with the Prince of Discs, I do see you in a better position mentally. And we got the Princess of Cups. So I do see you also putting your own feelings first you're not putting somebody else's feelings before your own a lot of my libras are like what's for me is for me and nobody's gonna stop that 
and we got indulgence in reverse. So some of you are fighting an addiction as well. Some of you, this is alcoholism. This could be a drug. This isn't you. This could be somebody around you. We got the Prince of Swords in reverse. You're coming in your own energy. The Prince of Swords could be a Libra. It could be a Gemini as well. And we got the Prince of Wands. So a little bit of Leo energy. Somebody's dealing with a Leo. Somebody runs their mouth a lot. Somebody talks a lot with the journalist energy. You could be into journalism as well. At the bottom of the deck, we got completion. So for those of you that's in school or working towards a goal, I do see completion for you. I do see you reaching a new high. And we also have the angel of detoxification. Somebody can be 22. And we got the bully prevention angel. Somebody got a two-year-old. And we also got the angel of channeling. Somebody can be 26. So that's going to be extremely important for Libra as well to, you know, bring in what you are wanting from the universe, right? And then we also have the angel of the animal realm and we have the angel of good news. So I do see you receiving some form of good news very soon. This could be when it comes to your business and we have the angel of friendships and we also have the angel of travel. So some of you could be traveling with a friend very soon. There could be a trip coming up with a friend. Y'all know, I just came back from Miami. I don't know if y'all knew that, but I needed that trip, Libra. I'll tell you, I needed that. I needed that. Somebody could be 29. We got the angel of relationships. Some of you could be going on a trip with a significant other as well. So keep that in mind, too. Let's see what else is coming in for my Libras right now. What else do you have for Libra spirit? What else do you have for Libra? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment, y'all. I appreciate you, Libra. And thank you so much, everybody. So we got the Karen connection in reverse. Somebody got a 14 year old. We got the temple path facing forward. Somebody got a 12 year old. And somebody could be 52. We got the goddess in the moon. And we got the hill of ages. Somebody could be 51. And we also have journey. Somebody got a two year old. And we got attachment in reverse. So a lot of you are trying to detach yourself from someone. A lot of y'all are trying to detach yourself from a situation. Somebody got a seven-year-old. We got the community in reverse. So I do see that some of y'all are wanting your power back that you gave somebody or either a group of people. And we also got anxiety. Somebody got an 18-year-old. So for a lot of my Libras, you could be feeling a lot of anxiety right now. Somebody's energy around you could be causing anxiety as well. And... We got the yin and the yang in reverse. So for those of you that were dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I'm seeing an extreme disconnection. It looks like this relationship was very hostile. It was a lot of fighting and arguing, but I see that's kind of came to an end. A lot of my Libras are at the point of their life. If you're bringing nothing but headache and drama, Libra will remove you with no problem. I'm telling you, Libra, I don't mind removing somebody out of my life, especially that is bringing chaos, drama, and just dark energy. And somebody could be 28. We got victory. So we've seen completion. We've seen victory. Libra, if you're going through a tough time right now or just a moment in your life where you're not feeling appreciated, that's coming to an end. I see you in such a better place mentally, Libra. You kind of just got to trust the process right now. We got the angel of balance in reverse. So my Libras are feeling off balance right now. We got the sun in reverse. Something that was supposed to happen for you didn't but now i see new love coming in somebody could be 33 my libra men you could be struggling financially right now somebody could be 43 but we got action after that so i see you taking all the action and all the steps that you got to take to get yourself out of the situation if this isn't you then this could be a masculine energy around you libra so keep that in mind you could be being used there was some type of deceitful energy around libra because someone's seen how far libra was going and how far libra was going to make it Somebody can be 29. What is going to be that final message for Libra? So we got the woman holding the coin in reverse. My Libra's period could be struggling financially, especially my Libra men and my Libra women. But get some rest. Maybe you're pushing yourself a little bit too hard. Somebody got a 19 year old at the bottom of the deck. We got the woman holding the heart in reverse. So a lot of y'all are taking your love back, especially my Libra women. She could also be a liar or a cheater. This could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with. Now, how is Libra person feeling about them right now, spirit? It's time for us to say goodbye. Yeah, some of y'all walked away from a connection. You express your thoughts through music. So there could be certain songs that you play to express how you're feeling. 
I appreciate the wisdom that I gained from this experience. So it looks like for a lot of you, this was a learning experience. I'm starting to realize the depth of our connection. I am not in the mood. Libra doesn't even want to have a conversation with this person because Libra's like, you know what? You're not taking advantage of me emotionally, spiritually, or mentally anymore. And we also have, I recall my memories of you and I don't show any emotions when people talk about you. So when this person's name is brought up, you go numb. Or when your name is brought up, this person goes numb. At the bottom of the deck, we have, we are not suited for each other. Yeah, a lot of my Libras have decided a yin and a yang connection is not for them. And that's okay. A lot of you are focused on you. I appreciate you, Libra. Thank you.